Nathan, as you know, Nissan just introduced a brand new 2020 Nissan Titan and Titan XD. That's right. Uh, and the question, of course, that we're going to be talking about today is, did they do enough? And the answer is no. Oh, no, you're wrong. No, I'm not oh. wrong, dude. They needed to do a lot more and they didn't. But before we talk about that, let's talk about the difference between the Titan and the Titan XD. Okay. So once upon a time, as you know, there was a Titan and a Titan XD. And the right. XD came with two different powertrains. Mm -hmm. One was a Cummins and one was a V8. Right. Cummins is gone. That's right. And the V8 is the same V8 that they use in the regular Titan. The most powerful V8 you can buy now with a caveat. We'll get to that. Yeah. But the biggest difference between the Titan and the Titan XD is the Titan XD is about 12 inches longer. Now it is. Yep. It has a bigger frame. Yep. Which means that it has about 900 pounds more of uh, payload. That's right. 1700 more pounds of towing. Yep. Um, and it has some trim updates as well. So they are different models and Andre's been able to cover both of those. So we're able to actually see the differences between them. But the main story really is the regular Nissan Titan. Yep, exactly. And I got to see that at the State Fair of Texas. And I got to tell you, I was expecting Nissan to do more. So what they did basically with both models is they changed the nose on it. They put an applique on the tail. They updated the interior. They gave it a bigger screen. They gave it a large panoramic sunroof. These are all wonderful things, but you know what else they did? What's that? They also gave it a nine-speed automatic transmission. And that's a big story right there. The seven-speed wasn't up to stuff, and a lot of people agree with that. And Nissan listened to what consumers wanted, and they wanted a better transmission, one that's more efficient, one that has a better use of the power, and is a little bit more competitive with the 10 speeds and the 8 speeds that are out there from Ram and from Ford slash General Motors. And they did that. And then on top of that, let's talk about that 5.6 liter V8, which is one of my favorite engines. It's basically the same engine, but it can produce more horsepower. Yeah, 400 uh, horsepower and about 413 pound foot of torque if you use premium fuel. Yeah, that is the caveat. But if you don't, you still have a perfectly good running engine. 390 horsepower. That's right. So 10 less horsepower, but you can put in the cheaper fuel. So let me ask you, Nathan, just off the top of your head, how many different engine choices can you get in, say, a Ford or a Chevy? Ford is, is like close to a dozen at this point. <laughs> Chevy is a little bit less, but I mean, you know, a variety of V6s and V8s and diesels and everything else. And, and right now, after... Nissan got rid of their uh, diesel V8. They're down to one engine, but it's a good engine. It is a really good engine. In fact, it's class leading. If you use premium fuel, it produces class leading horsepower for that class. So if you don't believe in choice, it's a good uh, powertrain. Okay, fair enough. But at the same time, we had a Nissan Titan for months and months and months. It was a long-term loan and it was a great little truck. It did everything well, and one of the best parts of that was that engine. It was an excellent engine, so keeping just one engine for now isn't such a bad thing. And plus, maybe it lowers their uh, investment on the vehicle, so it could still be inexpensive. So as you know, there are basically five manufacturers that do full-size trucks, right? Yep. Chevy, Ford, Ram, Toyota, yep. and Nissan. And Nissan sales of the Titan have, uh, well, they have not been grand. In September of 2018, they sold almost 6,000 trucks. Yep. Uh, September of 2019, they sold half that, 2,500 trucks, down 56.7%. I think that makes my point, Nathan. I mean, you need choice. It's hyper-competitive in the full-size truck market. And by narrowing down choice, you're not expanding your market. You're contracting it. Well, what, what they did was they saw that there were things that they were lacking. Now, one of the things that truck was lacking was a competitive interior. Nissan listened to everybody and built a much better interior. It is higher quality. The components inside are now competitive with everybody else. Before, when the new Titan came out a couple years back, on what, four years back or something like that? It wasn't even off the bat very competitive and that was a problem. So now it is and that is a huge step forward. Now people are going to look at that and go, oh, okay, that's what I wanted. They have a loyal following to an extent, and this following has been asking for certain things, and Nissan has provided many of those things, including the updated interior. You know, Ram, uh, you can get a 12-inch screen. Nissan just up theirs to, I think, 
nine inches. Yeah, that's the big one. Yeah, that's the big one. I mean, it's not in any way class leading, right? Every time we go to a truck launch, the key words are always class leading, right? Those are the two words. And the only thing right now that Nissan is class leading in is the V8 with 400 horsepower. And it won't take Ford or Ram or Chevy much to actually exceed that number. You know that. Yeah, I know. I mean, they, they're basically going to just uh, flip a switch and probably beat them. But the thing is, is that we already know that it's a fairly reliable powertrain. And now that they have the 9-speed transmission, they should be able to get better mileage and hopefully a smoother we're only assuming this part, by the way, better mileage and smoother drive, but I, it's logic, right? The other thing is, is that, keep in mind, Nissan has been able to undercut the competition in terms of pricing, especially when you negotiate, because they're not moving that many, right? I would imagine that this new truck will still be one of those that is going to be a little bit less expensive. And here's another important part. At least currently, Nissan gives you the least expensive truck to buy if you want a V8. Yes, Ford can undercut them, but only with the V6. With the V8, and it's a good V8, once again, Nissan is able to jump right up there and actually be one of the least expensive trucks you can buy in this class with a V8. Now, to be fair, Nissan has not yet announced pricing. That's true. Uh, and they have not announced fuel economy numbers either. No, they have not. Uh, so we don't know a lot of the important facts, but the one fact that we do know is that you can get a 10-speed in a Ford and a GM. So yeah, 9-speed yeah. is good, but yeah. if 9 is good, 10 is better, dude. Well, Ram seems to be doing just fine with an 8. Yes, uh -huh. Ram has certainly only an 8-speed, but nevertheless, if you want choice, then you're going to get a lot more variety in the major American brands. Now, there is something else that Nissan really focused on. They now have Nissan Safety Shield standard across the trucks, and this is something that is unique to Nissan. It is a all-inclusive system that has everything from traffic alert, lane departure warning, high beam assist, uh, rear cross traffic alert, blind spot monitoring, it goes on and on and on and on. And it is unique to Nissan and it is unique to the fact that the entire line is being covered. That's huge, that is a lot of tech for the price and I'm assuming, and I think it's fair to assume, that a lot of other automakers are going to be looking at that and going, hmm, Nissan's actually gone the extra step to make this truck even safer. Well, it's unique unless you, of course, consider the Toyota has their safety sense, which basically is the exact same thing. No, it's not exact same thing. There are actually quite a few things that Nissan has that Toyota doesn't have on it. Speaking of Toyota, now a lot of you are going, well, Toyota recently updated their um, Tundra. Tundra. Look, you could spit on the windshield of a Tundra and basically call it an upgrade or something new. Tundra has barely been redone. What do you mean, Nathan? They barely. Have, they new new have, headlights. They now have three USB ports instead of just one. <clears throat> Indeed. And the thing is, is that Nissan has gone that extra step and has done a lot more than just a simple refresh or new headlights. They've done a lot more mechanically, too. And that's important. And I think that, consider this. Nissan has always had a pretty good off-road truck with their Pro 4X package, and it does something that the Toyota doesn't do. It has a locking rear diff, and that is really important for off-roading. Can't argue with that. Yeah, but you can get a locking rear diff in any of the other brands. Any of the other brands. I'm just referring to Toyota. Now, granted, Toyota has the bulletproof reputation of having a really strong truck, but you know, the Nissan so far, the at least the engine has proven to be very reliable. And I know Nissan's reputation for reliability is spotty, but at least with the Titan, the smaller one, it's proving to be fairly tough. So, you know, I, I think Nissan's in a very difficult place here, so I don't want to, you know, pour salt in a wound, right? But they're in this position right now where they're not selling a lot of trucks, so they don't have a lot of budget to improve the truck, so they don't improve the truck, they just kind of catch up with the competition, which means they're not going to sell a lot of trucks, and it's unfortunately a downward spiral, right? And you're playing in what is, I think, the most competitive automotive segment in America, right? The full-size truck is beyond hyper-competitive. Oh, it is, yeah, indeed. Yeah, and, and you know, you, you even with at the potential of somehow outdoing Ford, and they will have a team of engineers scurrying over the F-150, and within like 15 seconds, you know, they're gonna match whatever you do. And that's not, that's not even at the ballpark that Nissan's in, right? No, no, not even close. So, yeah. so it's, 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 it's hard, I understand. Uh, that Nissan has done a lot to take a truck that felt like it was two generations old and make it a little current. more contemporary. Yes. Yeah, right. But but to be competitive in this segment, to be, you know, a, a winner in the full size truck market, you have to spend not a little. You have to spend a lot. And and this to me just just is getting you 
into the ballpark. It doesn't even get you like, you know, to the batting cage. It doesn't. Mm, no, you're wrong. And here's my point. I, I, I understand what you're saying. But there are a lot of people out there who simply don't want a Ford. There are a lot of people out there who simply don't want a Ram. There are people who have had really good experiences with Nissan trucks I, before. I have to agree, if you go to Nashville, every other vehicle is a Titan. Really helps that they have a manufacturing there. Um, and the, Mississippi. I've seen a lot of people very satisfied with Nissan Frontiers, right? You know, and they they've they been they building build, them for a million years. They build really honest trucks. Yeah, they do, exactly. And so if Nissan can price themselves competitively, if this truck shows that it is right there with the other guys, I think not only, I'm sure they're going to increase their sales, but I think they'll be a little bit more competitive. Look, bottom line, they're never going to compete head-to-head -head with Ford. They're never going to have that product base because Ford owns this segment and Ram is right there now. And so is GM. I mean, yeah, I mean, all three of them and they the offer yeah. diesels and V6s and different types of V8s and, and Nissan's like, oh, we have one. I get that, and, and that's kind of a bummer, but the other side of it is Nissan's kind of saying, look, we're the value proposition, we're the ones who are playing a, to a slightly different drummer, and just as importantly, we build a really solid truck with now the improvements that a lot of people have been asking for. Well, guys, there you have it. As always, Nathan is wrong and I am right. <laughs> what do you guys <laughs> think? Let us yeah, know. let us know below. In the comments, did Nissan do enough with the new Titan? And of course, as soon as we know more about it, and specifically pricing and specifications, we'll let you know. And remember, go back to tfltruck.com for more news, views, and real world reviews. Right from Andre's hot computer to your <laughs> cold computer. See you guys next time. See Ciao. you guys.